Hi guys, this is Angel back at it again with another video. Um, in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Baofeng UV5R. I am not gonna be talking about how to program it. I am not gonna be talking about how to do other stuff with it. Um, the only thing that we're gonna be talking about is an issue um, that is well known for these radios to have. These radios are usually about $25 on Amazon. And um, the problem that I had with this one is that um, if you look back here, we have the battery compartment. And what happened with the battery compartment is that it's broken. So here you can see a piece. This piece um, is a piece that broke. Basically what broke is the latch that um, latches into the battery here. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Um, but it latches like that here and it holds the battery from coming out um, so that means that um, it's you can maybe you can see it inside there let me remove the antenna every time you're messing with your radio you should remove the antenna um, and basically what it means is that the battery it cannot hold in place so it's only basically held in place with this um, this belt clip but if not it will just fall fall down um, so I decided to fix that um, and the way that I decided to fix that is with 3d printing um, so I have already made a part in order to replace that one which is this one over here this latch is what broke in the other in this um, part over here basically what broke is there um, and it breaks be because in the way that they designed this part over here um, there is not enough plastic here to grab onto the onto the the part for long enough grab onto the battery here for long enough and at some point it just just snaps and breaks so that's a very bad weak point that they have there um, this was of course not met without challenges um, I made before two more parts as a test this one was the second one this one was the first one so the problem that I had with the first one was that um, So let me take this apart and show you how you can get to that part. Um, so let's take this radio apart. Uh, first thing first, you remove the screws back here. So now I have it apart, um, as you can see this is the old part, um, it's broken, you toss it away, take the new one, uh, replace it, let's take out the battery first, and then I can put it here, make sure to press into it so it catches in there, then I can, whoa, I can put this through. I like to leave the screws in. Okay, this is not sitting in properly. Uh, there, that should be fine. So I like to leave the screws on because I don't want to confuse them with the other ones and then you can just put it back in place. That thing is solid. Maybe this one a little bit more. Thing is solid there. Now, let's see if it works. So, there. 
it's not gonna come out pushing really hard it's not gonna it's not coming out push it in comes out works very well so let's put this back together there now it's back in place not moving uh, we're good to go we just need to put the bat the antenna in basically just screw it in make sure that it's tight so it doesn't come out and we can then turn it on and that's about it um, it works yeah everything works fine so later on I'm gonna be um, going into detail about ham radio what it is and so on but for now it was just a small project just fixing this little um, tab here so yeah if you guys need um the part it's gonna be in the description below I recommend you if you have a ham radio uh, Baofeng UB5R and you have a 3D printer accessible like from college and so on print a couple of these ones because you don't want to be in the situation where you are outside or something and then this thing breaks um, it usually like it, it will start slowly giving out and you can see because you won't be able to hold your battery anymore uh, but yeah that's about it thank you guys for watching and i hope that this was um, somewhat helpful to you guys